What a post. What a post. Go. One. Two. Three. It's over. Go. Don't post, baby. I got him off guard with that. Yo, I got him off guard with that post. They said he broke. We scored, bro. Carla here. Carla Hill, the one to put all this stuff together for us. Like I said, if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be out here. She put all this together, set it up with her foundation. So she gonna tell y'all a couple things to the parents and share information about what's going on right now. Here you go, Carla. First thank you all, again. Thank, thank you. Thank yeah. you all. I want to say thank all y'all for coming. I'm happy that y'all. Did y'all have fun? Yes. Did y'all learn some moves? Yes. How many of y'all already play football? Y'all play on teams? Yeah. Are y'all good? Yeah. Yell out your school. Yell out your school. Yeah. 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 What's the team? Oh, okay. Hey guys, we out here today to have fun. We do a little bit of camp. Like we said, we out here to teach the fundamentals of the game. Techniques about football. Not everybody's gonna be a professional player. Not everybody's gonna make it big leagues. But what we out here are gonna do we're going to help y'all get better because there's no I in team, right? When you play the game, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, or soccer, you play the game as a team. So when you're working out, you work out for the guy amongst you. When I got to go to work, I got to know the guy beside me is going to do the job that the coach is asking them to do. So if you see somebody on your team, it's not lifted. We want to try to lift them up to encourage them to do better. So we're going to come out here, work the technique, the fundamentals of the game of football, and catching and doing everything. Footwork go to all the sports. So to get your attention, when I say give me one, you clap one time. When I say give me two, you clap two times. When I say give me three, you clap three times. Give me one. Two, three, there you go. Get the rhythm, all right? Now we're gonna do, we're gonna stretch out a little bit before we break y'all down the groups, okay? Yep, and we make sure everybody get water. Even though you say you don't want none, everybody have to drink water. You know, you're at a great advantage um, in what you were coming up, but you gotta take advantage of all the opportunities that is afforded, like programs like this, like them giving back to the community. And so I just came from Maryland just to just to impart to you some words of knowledge, wisdom, and just encourage and inspire you uh, to speak to the dreamer in you. All of you have purpose. All of you were born with a purpose. And what we have to do as even mentors, coaches, you know, older people to share with you that you got to tap into that purpose, tap into what drives you, what pushes you. Like I know this would be something that drives you, you know, for sports for a lot of you, but then you gotta also have another backup plan. It can't just be, you know, I'm gonna play sports, but education is so important. When we walk through the schools here of Harrisburg High, wow, and I graduated, Lord, 36 years ago, it's amazing. But just to see where a lot of people are in life and the journey, everybody's journey is different, but at the end of it all, we're all trying to get to the finish line. You see, from goal to goal, you're trying to get to the finish line. And so that dreamer in you, what are you passionate about? What pushes you? What drives you? So you got to say to yourself, what, if, what do I really want to be in life? What do I want to do in life? And so you got to surround yourself with people like Rob that will just encourage. You got to surround yourself with these coaches, with these leaders, even your parents that are going to give you the best advice. And so sometimes when they're hard on you, it will help you better in life. If they wasn't hard on us growing up, we may have not liked what they said, but it was it was for our good. And so now later when I see it and can come back to a high school that I graduated from 36 years ago and see this whole transformation, seeing what they have done and invested to make in the school, the education so that you can be affordable for all the things that are happening now. So there's a dreamer in you, dream, your vision, your goals, get all the education, like I'm still going to school. It doesn't matter how many degrees I have, but if I can't come and give back to my culture, my community, then all of it's just in vain. Like I said, we out here to have fun, teach the game of techniques and the game of life. Cause in life, 
You got to survive about paying attention and following directions. That's why in life, there's called laws. If you don't follow the laws, we get in trouble. So that's what we do. You follow the rules. In this case, it's following the rules. Listen to your parents. Understanding the people you surround yourself with. Don't be persuaded, persuasive to somebody else doing bad decisions and making bad choices. Don't be a follower, you be a what? Who know? Don't be a follower, you be what? Yep, you don't be a follower, you be a leader and a winner. You lead by example. When, you, when, when your peers or somebody see you doing good, they take that responsibility on themselves and they end up doing good. So guess what that do? That make us all do good. All right? So give yourself one, two, three. All right, hustle to your stations. Hustle to your stations. Let's see where y'all know where to go. Hustle to your stations. Wait, 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 wait. Break right down. Go. No, tuck that ball. Tuck that ball. Run faster, 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 faster. Come around. Good job. Let's go. Uh, suck that ball. There you go. Good run. Good run. Good run. Good job, man. Way to pay the Good job. Good job. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Good job. There you go. Touch it. Get out of there. Always finish too, guys. Always finish the drill. Good job. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Good foot. Oh, good feet. There you go. Yeah. Good footwork. The L's will run. That's what they do in the NFL combine. They do this in the NFL combine. It's working on your feet, getting around the corner. There you go. Run through. Go. Don't come right here and go like this. The line's right here. Finish through the line. All right, we're going to finish through the line. Go. Today, I hope to get better and learn something new. My name is James Cashman Lowes Jr. I'm nine years old. Uh, what got you into playing football? My dad. Uh, what position do you play? Wide receiver. Wide receiver? What position? Your dad was a wide receiver, too? Mm -hmm. What grade are you going into? Fourth. The, the heaviest thing about being a wide receiver is that you don't just have, you don't just have to run around and always catch the ball. You can have inbounds between plays. It could be a trick play. And you don't just stand right there and just do this. You can do a just sweep and stuff. And this other thing, this other mixture of things that you could do in a wide receiver. And that's why it makes it fun. I'm training and when it comes to football season, I'm ready. I'm glad y'all have fun. I appreciate them. The driver take. You know, give him a clap. And all our coaches out here, can you clap for our coaches? They came out with the data on their own, on their own schedule, and they came out to help you guys. He's with the Harrisburg School District. He coached with him, went to Penn State. I played with him here at Harrisburg. Great man, great mentor. He gonna come here. Sean Lee, please come up here. I gotta say a little something. <laughs> Once again, thank Miss Carla for putting things together. And it was at no call. You know what I'm saying? You get some skills, you get some knowledge from other people at no cost. So make sure you suck it in. But believe it or not, the hardest part of the camp is right now. Sitting here when you're tired, listening to somebody talk, deliver a message that you might not even better relate to. But this is what you're going to need when you get into the school year start, too. The teacher's going to be up here talking, and you're going to have to pay attention. You're going to have to focus. That building right there, um, that's where we watch film. My son was out there, Sean, he was helping with the drill. He's the starting quarterback up here. But as much, but as much energy and effort we put out here, we also put in there watching film, talking with the other coaches, talking with the other players, making sure you know what's game, where you lining up. So as much as the game is physical, most of it's mental. So make sure you're focusing on that mental part of the game right now. And actually, I want to bring your son up here. Because he's in high school right now. He's in your foots right now. He can teach the mental. I want him to say a couple words. He don't got to be long, but Shawnee, I want you to come up here. You guys, give it up to him. That's where Cougar quarterback. Cougar's now quarterback in 11th grade. He was helping with the camp as well. Game came out here and gave us his time. Just wanted him to say just a couple words. 
Go ahead, say a couple words for them. Your experience, what you're going through now in high school as we plan. Whatever you can share with them. Uh, really, it just all starts in school. Staying on top of your school stuff so your grades are good so you can even get on the field. Because if you're in competition with another guy, if your grades aren't good, they're going to pick that other guy over you most of the time. So that's really it. Right. Good. I appreciate it. That's what I want you to see. You're going to see his man's face a lot. I want him to come up here because you're going to see him a lot. Sean Lee, I'm heading to 11th grade for my junior season. That was a great season you had. Uh, can you just talk about like what, what, what led to your success? Or? Uh, Really, it was just being a team player and having a lot of team sports. We had Kyle Williams, Terrell Reynolds, all those guys produce. So it was easy for the other guys to pick up behind them. This season, we got a lot of young guys, so just keeping them level-headed. Because they see what it looks like to have success going to a state championship last year. So just them being able to pick up behind us where we left off. You can run. So like, uh, what, what do you try to relate your game to? What, do you, what inspires you? I like the Ravens. So my favorite quarterback, Lamar Jackson. I think he's a great quarterback. A lot of people say he can't throw. But if you really watch his games, he's a great passer in the pocket as well. Where are you thinking about going to uh, play? Uh, right now I got two offers. I got Iowa State and Kent State. Um, I don't know what school I want to go to yet, wherever I can get on the field at, though. Does the location matter? Location doesn't matter. Because this is one of the best athletes to come out of Harrisburg. When I went to Penn State, it wasn't a shock to me because I was like, I played against the best. A lot of the people you play with here, they're going to be some of the best athletes to play against, either to go to college. It's the ones that can make it and weave through some of those other pitfalls. So make sure you're hitting those books. Make sure you're picking your friends right. Make sure you listen to your parents. There's a lot of other temptations out there. So, um, we're saying that. I'm not going to hold you too long. A man that traveled all over the world, he does a lot. I mean, football, basketball, baseball. But the man plays for the Hot and Gold Trials. He's been doing a lot of stuff for us. I mean, stuff he could go. i got to bring my man up, Chris Franklin. Come on up. Okay, come on to my group, all right, what's up? What's up? Real quick, real quick. I'm going to give you five quick points. Five quick points. If you can remember these five points. I have some for you. Five points. Number one. Number one. See, a lot of you know my message is consistent. My message is consistent. I believe that I've been successful. I've been able to travel to 85 countries around the world. I've been able to do some amazing things because I think five points. And those of you who saw me before, give me one of my five points. Give me one of them. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dream. You can do anything you put your mind to with hard work and doing the right thing. When I was six years old, I said I saw the Harlem Globetrotters on the cartoon Scooby Doo, and I said that's what I want to do in life. People would say it's impossible. They would say it's too hard. I would dribble the ball everywhere. They would say you dribble too much. Now I travel all around the world getting paid. Dribble. Believe in your dream. That's one of them. Who got another one? Keep God in your life. If God is with you, no one could be against you. If God is with you, no one could be against you. Who knows one? Give me one. Stay away from drugs. Anywhere, every offer you drugs, tell your mother, your father, your teacher, your principal. I believe I'm successful because I stay far away from drugs. Myself and Pike play AAU ball together. I watched how successful he was, and it was some people, he was probably one of the most talented athletes to ever come out this city. I was good. But I think that I became successful because I stay far away from drugs. And a lot of people who are just as good as me, probably better, that never left the city because they chose to partake in drugs. If you want to be successful in life, you'll stay far away from drugs. Listen to your parents and teachers and your coaches. They're trying to lead you in the right direction. It's important that you listen to them. They are here because they care about you. Listen to them. I wouldn't have made most of the mistakes I made in my life if I would have just listened to my parents, my teacher, my principal, my coach. Who knows my last name? Who knows? Stay in school, get your education. You guys are doing our future without you. We have no future. Do not cheat us. Do not cheat yourself. I play professional basketball for a living, but I have a master's degree. That means I went from elementary school to middle school to high school to college, and then back to college, you could never get enough education. All right? Great job today, and great job participating in such an amazing camp. I love the way that these brothers come back and give back all the time. So when you become successful, it's important that you come back and you help our city too. Great job today. Everybody's going to get a book bag, right? And your book bag is a ticket for tomorrow's event at Cardaddy's. But if you don't have the ticket, I want y'all to have the ticket for tomorrow.
So we have some amazing door prizes. We're giving away a laptop, a laptop, iPad. Woo! You gotta be here to get them. We got four pair of sneakers. Ooh. It's important for y'all to be here tomorrow. That's the only way you're gonna be able to get the door prize. Everybody hear me? Tomorrow's at Crawl Daddy's. It's all, I sent all your parents emails um, so they should all know the location and your tickets inside your book bag. You got it? Where's the ticket at? Inside your book bag.